Hello everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to the Child Vet. Um, today we're going to be reacting to um, a horror stories animated um, because, well, I've always wanted to do that. Like, when I was little, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel, as you know. My first video was like all the way back in 2016 when I was little. <laughs> um, and always wanted to do scary animations and react to them but I've never been able to actually do them but now I can do them so let's react to them eh so two creepy man horror stories should be two creepy men horror stories but I, I ain't arguing my name is Brandon, and I'm from Southern California. By the way, I'm white with brown hair and blue eyes. And one day, my mom, dad, an older and younger sister took a trip out to San Francisco to see the huge redwood trees. And we. I've never been to San Francisco. Like, I thought it's a cool place, but my parents would never ever take me because I'm too tiny. I don't know, like, I'm teeny weeny, it's teensy weeny, too little tiny. We had a picnic there, and all was good. But halfway through, I had to take a pee, so I wandered I had to take a pee. into the woods and found a tree far from our sight. When I was done pissing, I felt something wet land on me. At first, something what now? When I was done pissing, I felt something wet land on me. At first, I thought it was Whoa. sap from the tree, but oh boy, was I wrong. As I looked up at the tree, I saw a person up there. My heart dropped. I had no idea how this dude got up there, but his face looked so messed up and psychotic and evil. He said, Oh, there's a man looking at your willy! To me, Hey, little boy, come up here. At that point, I ran to my campsite, but unfortunately, the guy ran after me. Luckily, I was fast and outran him, but looked behind me and I heard him say, I'm gonna rip you in half. Ah! He ran back into the woods and was gone. I ran to my parents and told them everything that happened, and we all drove home. To this day, I don't know how he got up there, or what he wanted with me. Well, I'm being honest, he probably wanted to I'm 26, and this happened a few years ago when I was 19. I just graduated college. I grew up with rich, loving parents. Everything was going great until this one day, my parents decided to go out for the night. They said they wouldn't be back until 4 o'clock in the morning, and I had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to work. But until 3 o'clock in the morning, I heard a knock at the door. So I opened the door, and it was one of my bodyguards but something didn't feel right. All of the bodyguards have brown hair, and this one had blonde hair, so quickly shut the door and locked it. So I sat on... Did you see that? Wait. What's that in the corner? Is that a human head? Right here, where my cursor is. Is that a human head? It looks like a kid. Right there. So I sat on the couch. I decided that I would watch some TV. But when I turned on the news, I saw the same guy on the screen. By this point, it's 3.50 in the morning. Yeah, I called the cops. When they got there, they found him. But he was right in the backyard and got in the house. They took him away and it turns out that he was a prisoner that escaped prison. And he was a sex offender and raped. Oh, hey, 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 we ain't about, we ain't allowed to say this, we ain't allowed to say that, that word, we ain't allowed to say that word, no, it says two true creepy man horror stories, but I bet that wasn't real, but you don't have to use the word, god damn, the door or call the cops, what would have happened if that guy got me, it still scares me till this day.
Special thanks to my patron. Anyway, um, those were like, they weren't even scary. Um, I'm gonna have to make this short because I ain't really got much time. So, yeah. Bye.